Hello there and in today's lecture you will learn about how to do data visualization using Seaborn library. So we will learn how to create basic plots using Seaborn library. So those plots are scatter plot, then we, do, we will do histogram, then we will do bar plot, then box and whiskers plot and then pairwise plots. So let's get started. So Seaborn, what is a Seaborn? So Seaborn is a Python data visualization library based on Matplotlib library. So it provides a high level interface for drawing attractive and informative statistical graphs. So let's see how to do a scatter plot using Seaborn library. We had already seen in the Matplotlib library. So scatter plot of price versus age we will do in this and then with default arguments. So first what we have to do is we can call the Seaborn library by calling SNS that is alias for Seaborn library. I will show you how to do that. Then SNS dot set first we will set the style or theme for the plot. So style equal to dark grid. So we'll use dark grid theme. Now we'll draw the scatter plot. So for that we have to call a function called reg plot. So that, that is a regression plot. So inside that we have to pass our x coordinate. So I am passing x equal to cars data age. So this is the column from the data frame. And in the y axis I want price. So I will pass y equal to data frame and slicing operator and the price and if we run that we will get this plot so this is scatter plot and along with that you, you might have noticed there is a line here so this line is called as regression line and uh, by default that uh, that line is true so for that a vari variable is used that is fit underscore rack equal to true so by default it is true that's why the line is displayed here if you want to remove it you can just add it here along with the rec plot function that fit rag equal to false so what it does it estimates and plots a regression model relating the x and y variables so it calculates the coefficient of x variables and plots a line through the scatter plot let's go to our jupyter notebook and here we have to import the seaborn library so for that type seaborn as SNS, so SN is, is a alias for Seaborn library. So whenever we have to call any function from Seaborn library, we will call, call SNS, then we will call the function name. Now we'll start the scatter plot. We just change to markdown and now what we can do, we will set the theme, for that we will call set function from sns and we will pass style equal to, there are many styles so I will use particular dark grid, this is our default style also and now we will draw the regression plot or scatter plot you can see, uh, first we will pass the x axis, so for that we will call our data frame then a slicing operator inside that will pass age then for y y axis we'll call the price column and if we run along with the warning we got our scatter plot so you can see we have a regression line here and we can see the negative correlation as the age of the car increases the price of the car decreases so what we can do we'll i'll show you how to remove that line for that we'll pass fit rag equal to false variable now you can see the line is not present so these are called markers and this 0 10 20 30 these are called x ticks labels and these are y ticks labels and these are pertaining to price and these are pertaining to age now let me show you how to change the marker so we have default marker that is a circle you can change the markers also here for that we will set the marker variable and it will take a string and we pass star and if you run this now you can see the all the circles are changed to stars now 
so there are other parameters also so there are options for markers also you can go through that in the documentation i'll give the link in the documentation now this is for two variables price and age so if you want two for three variables like fair type so these were two numerical variables so what if you want to add one more categorical variable so for that how you can do i will show you that so if you have scatter plot of price versus age and you want to do it by fair type so you can do that so for that you have to use a parameter called hue parameter including another variable to show the fuel type categories with different colors so there is a function for this in seaborn library called lm plot so this helps us to add another categorical variable in the numerical variables scatter plot so for that we'll pass x equal to age y equal to price and data equal to cars data so this is a data frame and when we pass data equal to cars data the x and y axis are automatically taken from this uh, data frame as age and price you don't need to use slicing operator and now we'll do fit track equal to false we don't need the regression line and then we'll pass u equal to fuel type and we also want legend so to know which fuel type is which color we will include legend equal to true and the palette that is a colors scheme which we'll use is set one so i will show this by running we'll type sns dot lm plot inside that we'll include x x equal to h comma y equal to price comma data equal to the data frame we have cars data comma then we don't want regression line equal so if we try equal to false then the hue parameter we have hue parameter as fuel type then legend we want equal to true then palette so palette we are setting as set one so these are pre predefined values so if you run this we got a nice uh, plot along with the uh, fuel type so you can see fuel types so these are called legend and uh, the red color stands for diesel fuel type green um, green color stands for cng and blue color stands for petrol so you can see the there are more number of blue colors that is petrol fuel type and you can see as the age of the car increases the price of the car decreases that is negative correlation along with that the prices of the car is very high for diesel fuel type when the age is very new and as the age of the car increases for all the fuel types the price of the car decreases so let's get back to our slides and you can also change the scatter plot by using the different markers such as transparency shape and size so you can in, uh, increase or decrease the transparency the shape of the data points or the markers and the size of the markers so this you can get through the documentation so for seaborn docs if you go there is whole lot of uh, documentation provided so what we can do we are doing for so markers if you search if you go seaborn dot scatter plot so you can get the color palette and if you go down so markers you can change so there are some examples given here you can see you can get the legend inside the scatter plot you can increase the size and decrease the size you can give sizes equal to 20 comma 200 like that and there are different palettes you can select c map etc i'll encourage you to go through the docs also to get better understanding of different types of plots
and how to draw it and i will give the link of the documentation in the description of the video